This is by far one of the biggest ovens I've ever seen. And this is where all the cold smoking is going down. So this is a Frank experience. And today, I'm learning how to take beautiful whole salmon and turn it into the smoked fish that we all grown to love here in New York City. We're at Acme Smoke Fish here in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. I'm kind of new at this. I don't have much experience with raw fish, so I guess you could say I'm a fish out of water on this one. All right, we're about to go into the factory. They have very strict sanitation rules. I mean, these Yeezys are fresh, but I think I'm feeling these yellow boots a little more. We're going into the raw production area. We bring in fish from all over the world. Uh, and it all comes here. We do about 15 million pounds of fish per year. That's encompassing everything, from salmon to whitefish, herring, smoked trout, a little something for everyone. We have been around for over 100 years. How many employees do you guys employ here at? So we have about 170 here in Brooklyn at our HQ. Brooklyn is the smoked fish capital of the world. When you come to New York, you get a hot dog or a pretzel, you get a slice of pizza, and you get bagel and lox. That's it. If you miss one of those, why even come? Why even come, exactly. We ship all over the country. Uh, wherever people are looking for smoked salmon, they can certainly find our, our products there. Well, this is the salmon processing section of the factory. Uh, this is sort of what Acme is known for. Luckily, not only do I have the best guy in the business to show me, but he's also an old friend and one of our first regulars at Best Pizza. What's up? up Rich? How Good are you, to buddy? see you, brother. Good to see you. Thank you for having us here today. Thanks for finally coming in. Yeah, so I would imagine filleting a fish like this is a very specific technique and uh, probably something that takes some time to learn. Yeah, these guys behind us have been doing it for at least 15, 20 years. They're going to make it look easy, Yeah. but we'll get you up to speed. The first thing they do is they cut off a couple of skin patches, okay. which allows the brine to penetrate evenly as it sits for a week in the salt water. And they cut off the head, goes right down the rack, Okay. and then he's trimming off some of the fat and some more of the bones. What do you think? You ready to give one a try? Yeah, I'd love to. Do a little. Ooh, gotta a little get a little, more, little, little bit more. deeper than I thought, huh? <laughs> That's a little too deep, huh? A little more confidence. That's it. All right. Flip it now? No. And now you follow the bone the other way, but a little pressure up. Gotcha. Oh, I left a little meat on the bone over here. I'm going right. to feed my family with that yeah. bone. Ha, ha, ha. Don't let the boss see that, Rich. And you peel a little bit of the that stomach fat off, huh? What am I hitting, a bone there? One chop. There you go. Clean it up a little bit. I butchered that one, man. I'm not feeling so good right now. Well, you gotta do another 700 of them. And you'll yeah, get them, you know, yeah, you'll get yeah. There. I, I wanna stay here now all day and work on these until I get it right. I was better rolling dumplings. How did I do on my first try? Okay. Yeah, from one to 10, what would you say? Uh, maybe, maybe one. <laughs> Yo, they're tougher here in Brooklyn than they are in Manhattan, I'm telling you. Do I get another shot, one more fish? Let's do it. All right? Okay. Okay, that was a little bit better, right? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta come make pizza with me. He's getting ready for me to slice my finger off. Not as easy as it looks, right? Not as easy as it looks at all. On my second chance, how did I do? Oh! One to five. All right, one to five. I'll thank you, my brother. So we're gonna throw these fillets into the brine. And Richie, where are we going from here? We're gonna take these into the brining cooler. So you can just get on that end and push it on this way. All right. Beep, beep. <laughs> so now these will be in here for about a week. After a week, they're gonna drain the brine uh -huh. and rinse it with fresh, clean water. Uh -huh. And they're gonna go on to trolleys and roll into the oven. Richie just brought me over here to the oven. What's going on in the oven? The fish is rinsed and it's on a rack. Yep. You have high-powered fans, which are gonna be drying the fish constantly mm -hmm. over this 17-hour period. Mm -hmm. And intermittently, 
You're going to be burning wood and it's going to generate smoke in the smoke generator and it's going to get pumped into the oven. You really smell it in here. It's the heart and soul right here. Hands on the inside. Hands on the inside. There must be 20 fans in here glowing, drying off all this fish that's been brined. Right now, the smoker is off. We just turn the fans off. This will dry in here for 17 hours and then smoke. The color and the fat is just kind of perfect. 72 degrees is the average temperature in here. It's a perfect temperature for a piece of salmon like this to soak in all the smoke and flavor from the wood chips. My old buddy Gary, these two guys have been um, regulars at Best Pizza for 10 years now? Yeah. At least, since we opened. They were some of our first, first customers. It's a good thing you make good pizza. We wouldn't have gone back. <laughs> <laughs> this is very popular for the diners. It's sliced in this style. It's a little different than your traditional like meat slicer. It's almost more, more like a table slicer. Turn it around. Turn this one around. Flip it over. Got to push that in. Oh, I see what you're saying by coaxing it through. I got some ways for that blade, right? I don't got to worry about my fingers. This is, this is real factory work. This is uh, a place that employs tons of people in this neighborhood. When you're able to sustain a company for this long and give people jobs for that many years, I think um, it's an impressive thing and it's what we all want as business owners. Yes, we're gonna switch. This slicing machine is incredible. It's slicing it perfectly ready to eat. You could see that it'll probably be easy for it to be packaged. And then we put this on the line. Okay, right on the conveyor belt, next tray. So once these get onto that conveyor belt, they'll go be made into a three pound tray to be packed away and sent out. Now it's my job to pack this up. So here we go. So you would put that on the conveyor belt and this goes back to the conveyor belt. Put it right in. Goes right into the cryo back. Yep, and then right on the roll stock. Beautiful. So the facility is huge. There's a lot of fish being moved around. Uh, we have some beautiful, is that white fish? We bring fresh white fish from the Great Lakes about twice a week. The first thing we gotta do is get those fish clean. So when I started here, this was my first job. Okay. Scraping out all the, the bloodline of the fish. Near and dear to my heart. What's the technique? Take, the, take this spoon and just yep. kind of scoop out any last bit of bloodline. Gotcha. This is a uh, high velocity scaler. It's got these angled blades that basically scrape the scales off of the white fish so that when they smoke, they get to be nice and shiny. Um, I've never seen anything like this before <laughs> in my life. Pretty cool feat of engineering. The scaler I know is like the little metal. Back of a spoon, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, back of a spoon. We're seeing the transformation now, going from a whole fish to what's gonna be a delicious white fish salad. So the next step now is salt it. We gotta get salt in the fish. So the first thing is we're gonna fill up this tank with some fresh New York City water. We're gonna mix it with some 100% salt solution. Wow. We're gonna mix it to the optimal salt percentage for smoked whitefish, gotcha. which is about 20%. You no, know, this is definitely a little bit of a workout. You can imagine doing this every day. You probably, you don't have to go to the gym and build up those lats, if you know what I mean. Last step is to, is to check our brine here. Make sure we, we got the right 20 on the button. Wow. Let's keep it going. This guy's good. This guy's good. So th these are the white fish are in here, right. and then they're smoked in the hot smoker. Gotcha. Right. Here you have an additional step, drying, cooking, cooking. and smoking. Yep. Woo! Eyes are burning. So this is the finished product of the white fish. And they were brought over here to the smoker, the hot smoker. Golden brown and delicious. Ready to rock and roll. So now that the white fish has been smoked, it's time to pack it up and send it out to the customer. Yes, yeah, so is this a premium product? On the retail side, you're usually something like this. They're about two and a half pounds each. You're probably about between 15 and 18 bucks a pound. 40, 45 bucks a fish. So, I mean, you know, it's not uh, the most expensive thing in the world, but it's definitely not cheap. A lot of work has gone into it. 
and it's been done the old fashioned way, which in my opinion, adds a lot of value to the product itself. So, packed and ready to go. This is finished up. From here, it's gonna be weighed and tagged. Is that right? Yep, weighed, labeled up, and palletized, and ready to go out tonight on the trucks. Excellent. I just can't wait to get my hands on this. We're up in Acme's corporate office, upstairs. I'm here with Richie, and uh, the word is, is that he's the best salmon slicer in the game. So this is a freshly smoked side of Chilean salmon. You want a, a pretty stiff yet flexible knife, mm -hmm. so you want a, a good backbone to it, but mm -hmm. still a nice flex in the midpoint. What you want to do is you want to establish your angle. The tail of the, of the fish is almost always gonna be used for something else. They're gonna make their cream cheese, their lox cream cheese with it. They're gonna put it in omelets for Leo's. So instead of going after that, I'm just gonna start with my angle. You wanna make these nice thin slices, nice even strokes coming down and keep it nice and thin. You'll see there's that dark meat. What I like to do is I fold and I get rid of it. Is there a degree of transparency you want with the actual slice? You want it as thin as possible without it falling apart. Gotcha. And the old standard was, was always, you want it to be so thin you could read the New York Times through it. <laughs> so you've been watching this all day. You ready for a bite? I can't wait. Oh, man. It, it's so tender. It literally, you don't have to chew it much. Kind of like break it apart with your tongue. It's just what you want you know, an amazing piece of smoked salmon to taste like. All right, you ready to give this a try? Yeah, I think so. Filleting the salmon was a little bit difficult, but you know, I think I got this one. We're gonna get you a weekend job on the Upper West Side. There we go, I like the sound of that. There you go. It's all about those long strokes, huh? That's not bad right there. All right. This slice right here, so thin, you could read the New York Times through it. You had a bad. You uh, were probably one of the first customers that came in to Best Pizza. 2014, shortly after that, I got uh, approached by a mutual friend that comes here every Friday and came up to me and said, hey, would you ever want to do something with Acme? Maybe, you know, um, do some pizza and smoked fish. And sure enough, um, we kind of thought up this idea. Me and you got on the horn. Uh, we talk about what different fish we could use. I invited all these old timers from right. Brooklyn, uh, all of my family to come out. And then you guys invited a bunch of old timers from here, from the neighborhood. Um, so it was a bunch of old Sicilians, a bunch of neighborhood Jews that come here for years and years. And um, we packed the place out. It was really cool to be kind of accepted by you guys. and. Uh, it made me feel part of the neighborhood for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. And you've always done the same for, for me and my family coming through. Yeah, I my, love it. My boys, since they were, I don't know, four or five years old, have yeah. been, been coming to your place. So. Yeah, yeah. And now I, they started high school. I can't believe it, man. Thank you, yeah. thanks for coming. No, I can't say thank you enough. This is the white fish that we worked on earlier today. This has been smoked to the point where it is just perfect. Look at this meat. You know, even the meat is just golden. Yeah, I mean, come on. I'm a scooper, if you haven't noticed. More surfacing and more smoked fish. Ah, uh, right. I like that. I like that. You know, I'm coming over for those delicious looking summertime tomatoes. I got to see the transformation from a whole fish to what we have here laying in front of us. Now, I'm about to dig in. The best part of a labor of love. <laughs> it's obvious now why you guys have been around for so long. <laughs> Your grandfather would be proud. You know what this knife is called? 10 inch wide stiff boner. F Dick makes the 10 inch wide stiff boner. I guess you gotta get creative. <laughs> 